And it appears we have flyback failure. Jeez, right from the right from the donut to the frame. Hold on, we re we re uh, I got this thing on a variac right now, and I'm bringing the voltage up. You can see the corona coming right out of the. Has it got a raster on it? This flyback is pretty well done. I'm thinking about re-waxing it just for the experience and since David loves my re-waxing videos so much and then coating it with silicone that means I have to get the wax pot and the stove and everything out. Okay, here's the flyback. What I've done is I'm just gonna dump the whole thing. Well, I'm gonna stick it in. This is the bot as the bottom. I'm just gonna submerge it. I've tied this to here so it won't rip off. And I'm just gonna stick it in there. Our wax is heating up here on the stove. I have no idea what it's gonna do. It might crack the core. Of course, there's no whack, there's no moisture in this one because it's, it was all baked out. I'm not getting the other one. If you watch the other video, I was getting yeah. total foam spattering in. Yeah. How long is it going to soak? I don't know, we'll get it good and hot. There are some, come over here, let me see the camera. Some bubbling on the other side? Not much though. How about I get a piece of uh, cardboard to lay it on, pull it out of there? Or are you just going to hold it above the part? No, that's a good idea, we need something. Where do you think there is some? This should prove that I'm above the boiling point. This is just a stick off of a tree outside. I sealed it up with some uh, 
GE silicone. This is silicone one. I put it extra thick down there uh, on the bottom where it was arcing, where it's closest to the frame. And also around here to help support the output lead. Okay, the flyback has been rewaxed, and I just got, a cut, got it kind of hooked up. So let's uh, power this up and see what happens. I can relocate that. The high voltage came up, I heard it. Oh, I gotta plug the convergence in. Here's something I don't even want to get too close to. In fact, I should go get the Geiger counter and see what this looks like. But that's the shunt tube right there. I'm going to turn the light off and I'm going to let you see the greenish-white glow coming out of this, which is probably x-rays big time. I know it looks red in the... It looks red in the camera, but it's a whitish blue. And then that is the uh, 3A3. It do anything except almost cost me my family and my freedom. And it seems to work okay. That was crazy. Checking for leakage in the silicone, I found one spot. doesn't like when you do that. It breaks the loop and you have to start over. But The voltage is really high on the outer ring and this silicone might not be dry yet. It might be too thin, who knows. But anyway, it's working. <laughs> 